Hey, 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 what's up everybody? This is Tony for walkingtolose.com. Welcome to another Walking for Weight Loss video. Today I am on the Celebrity Equinox and we are we are moored, that's the uh, that's the, the nautical term, we are moored off the coast of Cayman Island, off of Grand Cayman. And uh, we're gonna be here for a couple more hours, but I thought it would be cool to take a nice afternoon walk, show you guys the cruise ship. We're gonna, this walk, we're going to walk on the outside up by the pool deck. We're gonna climb some stairs. We're gonna show you some cruise ships. I'm trying to get in 20 or 30 minutes. It's super hot out there. I've, I've been chugging water. I feel like I'm fairly hydrated, but we're gonna stop and end at this point. This is our cruise cabin. If you wanna see more about what our cruise is like, go over to our cruising channel, uh, La Lita Loca. I'll leave a link in the description and you can see what it's been like to be on this cruise on the Celebrity Equinox. But now, it's time to get walking. Uh, stand, you know, walk at your cubicle, put this on in your headset while you're doing your walk on the gym, watch it on your iPad. Uh, just plug in a little bit of a narrated walk around the decks of the Celebrity Equinox Grand Cayman Day. All right, we're gonna pick it up. I'm gonna take you right from the cabin, climb some stairs to start off with. I'm just trying to get myself psyched up. We can do it, you can do it. Let's get some steps in. Let's walk for weight loss. Here we go. All right, guys, we got the old timer started on the watch. Here we go. So this is our cabin. We're gonna go right out into the hall. And start to walk. Now, the interesting thing about cruise cabs or cruise ships in general is they have these infinite hallways that all look the same. So the first thing you have to do when you're cruising is kind of orient yourself to <laughs> what your hallway looks like. But once you figure out what your hallway looks like, it's not too hard to find your cruise cabin. And uh, we've had a pretty good one. It's, uh, it's been really centrally located, uh, close to all the things we like to go to. And we've had the opportunity both to use the elevators and to climb the stairs. And for this guided walk, we will climb the stairs. Now we're on deck 11. We're gonna make our way to deck 14. And that's where we're gonna go outside into the Camian sunshine. Give you guys a quick sneak peek. This is a beautiful kind of open design. Have a little floating tree there. It's actually supported by brackets, a little library, really cool open space. It's deck 12. Ooh, here we go, another flight of stairs, man. Find some stairs to climb. I'm already breathing heavy. All right. Now the cool thing, we go from deck 12, deck 12 right to deck 14, because there's no deck 13 on the cruise ship. And now we go, we're gonna start timing the, uh, time in the walk. So, Celebrity Equinox, not a huge ship. You can basically see where we went up the stairs is considered the aft or the back of the ship. Now we're making our way toward the forward or the front of the ship. And uh, the stairs kind of represent where the front of the ship is, so it's not really that big a, big a walk. Now this is a port day, so a lot of people leave the cruise ship to go over to Grand Cayman. We actually went over for just a short amount of time. And then we came back. I kind of like the cruise ship when it's a little empty like this. Like this is a popular, oh, there's a little bit of line over here. It's a popular spot on the cruise ship, the Mass Grill. Hot dogs, hamburgers. We're actually walking on a walking track. Uh, we'll have to look and see if there's any indication how far you have to walk to walk a mile. All right. So the cool thing about cruising, if you want, is there's no shortage, no shortage of stairs. All right, so I started the timer when we went outside. So we're, we're officially about a minute and a half in. So. Let's do some stairs. Ooh. Stairs are no joke. It's gone. I 
sure is pretty though. This is Grand Cayman. Uh, hotbed for international banking. Whenever you hear people say they have secret offshore accounts, could be in the Cayman Islands. So we're about as far forward as you can go. We climbed up to deck 15. They have a little sports area here and basketball. And then uh, I'll show you this. We gotta keep on walking, but it's pretty cool. One of the adventures we got to partake in was watching the ship leave yesterday from the helipad area. They had a little party there. and We got to leave out of uh, Cozumel. Make sure you check those videos out, but that was kind of cool. And then, yeah, we got basketball. So the way it works when you're at a port that they don't have a dock, they have to use these smaller boats called tenders. So you can see a tender boat there making its way to the dock in Grand Cayman to the pier. And then we got company today, a couple big cruise ships. Well, medium-sized cruise ships, I guess. We saw some big ones yesterday. This is the Carnival Glory and the Carnival Sensation. All right, we're about three minutes in. i tell you what, my heart rate's up just from climbing those stairs. But uh, just to give you an idea, you know, the cruise ship's not super huge because let's adjust you guys down a little bit, give you a little different view. Not super huge. We basically walked all the way to the front. Now we're gonna walk all the way to the back. Uh, but the big story that's brewing right now, pun intended, is the hurricane over in the Atlantic. We are kind of in the Midwest, the Western Caribbean, and the hurricane is uh, really to the east of Cuba. So Cuba kind of is between where we're at and the hurricane, but uh, there's some dark clouds. Looks like there could be a storm coming. And we're going back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida on this cruise, and we're supposed to go back there Saturday. So they're trying to get us back there early so that we can maybe get out of the path of the hurricane. But it's interesting, uh, they're gonna drop us off and then we have to figure out how to get out of Florida to avoid the storm. <laughs> trying to be extra careful on the steps. And again, the walking track picks up over here. They have a couple cool activities though. Uh, at least in the morning at the same time, they have a let's do a mile in 30 minutes. And so I was up here this morning and there were people running the track trying to get a mile in, which I thought was a cool, cool activity. The surface is really comfortable. It's like a, it's not completely wood, but it's it's got a little give to it. So I think if you're a runner, you could run now. The interesting thing about this jogging track is it's right in the middle of everything else. No dedicated, no dedicated spot. Ooh. Ooh. Another look at the. Uh, Carnival ships. It's pretty cool. So this is about the sixth day of our cruise. Of course, we do the walk at the Costa Maya. A couple walks over Costa Maya, and uh, there'll be a, another walk or two during the ship. I'm gonna walk on the inside. Show you guys the ins and out of a cruise ship. Whew. All right, so we're elevating ourselves again off of deck 14 up to 15. And this is one of the coolest features on the celebrity cruise ships. Uh, they actually have real grass. They call these the lawn club. And uh, in these areas, they'll do things like have uh, putt-putt tournaments and they've had uh, croquet and bocce. 
And uh, this is a glass blowing studio. We actually made some blown glass, some shaped glass. And then they show movies here that put out little loungers where you can uh, watch a movie. Some people chilling. So we saw the helipad earlier. What are we, about seven minutes. So not a not an unreasonable walk to go from one end to the cruise ship to another. Whew. But it is warm today. I got a good sweat going on. Feeling it. Pretty sure my heart rate's up. Had a little they had a little bocce tournament here earlier. Yeah, super great chill place with the grass. A lot of nice chairs. Great place to hang out on a cruise ship is the lawn club. And wow, that's it. We're right at the back. We're right at the aft of the ship. I'll show you what I think the coolest spot on this ship is, at least from a seating perspective. You got these four chairs right here. Overlooks the back of the ship. And when cruise ships are moving, they have the wake that falls behind them, trails behind them. Super cool spot. A bar area. All right, guys, eight minutes in. Are you guys getting your steps in? Are you walking? Do I have you beat on stairs? That's the question. Whew. Another look at the uh, Cayman coastline. Save the waves. Please do not throw objects overboard. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things, especially people ask if they've never been cruising before, how, how possible it is to fall off a cruise ship. Virtually impossible to fall off a cruise ship. You, you really have to try. And uh, you notice they've got these glass barriers. And most of the open spaces are 30, 39, 40 centimeters high. Uh, or inches, should I say, 30 or 40 centimeter inches. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's say it again. 39 inches high, I believe, is the standard for the railing. All right. We are going down, and this is actually... All right, that's interesting. So... 9 minutes and 25 seconds into when we first uh, got on this deck. So it's about a 10 minute walk. Let's uh, let's stretch it out a little bit. If you guys you got you got 22 more seconds until you hit 10 minutes. You can do it. Let's uh let's take a couple laps. Let's see what it is. See if we can get to 10 see if we can change the 10 to 15. Whew. Now we're back on the walking track. A little bit of the view of the pool. They got a couple pools going on over there. But uh, yeah, if you've never been on a cruise, it's it's really kind of a cool way to vacation. For the most part, all inclusive. When you book a cruise, you pay. For your room, you pay for uh, some food. Uh, most cruise lines have a buffet and they have what's called the main dining room. That food's gonna be included with your uh, ship price. You also pay to go to these ports. When you book your cruise, you'll pay port fees and taxes. But after that, you really don't have to spend a lot of money unless you want to. Alcohol is an extra expense most of the time, soda. But for the most part, you can cruise when get your food, get your room, and uh, always have something to drink uh, for, for one price, which is really makes it appealing. And these, these cruise lines, they also do have especially dining and extra things that you can do. Let me show you this too. I don't know if anything's going on in here. We'll take a quick break into the AC. 11 minutes in, how you doing? I don't hear anything going on over here. This is a pretty cool spot. The Sky Observation Lounge. 
the replica of the thinker. He looks puzzled. Oh. Yeah, the old trivia in here. And went to an origami class. Got puzzles. Just generally a cool, it's a great place to just be in the AC and look out on the sh everything that's going on around the ship. All right, 12 minutes in. Let's get eight more minutes. I think we can get this, this walk to 20. We're going to do another lap around. You guys still with me? Ooh. The secret word is carnival glory. If you made it to 12 minutes, put carnival glory in the comments. Be part of the secret walkers club. Can give another secret word at 20 minutes. How about that? Stay tuned for the second secret word. Carnival glory. What will the second word be at 20 minutes? Whew. All right. I got a nice little sweat going on 12 minutes in. Ooh. I really thought there would be a sign that would tell us how far we've walked. But I don't see one. Ooh. So again, moving from the front of the ship to the back of the ship. cut through here. Let's climb the stairs again and see the ships one more time. Here's a look at the pool. Everything going on in the pool deck. A little live music. People getting some sun. I feel like it's been good. We had a little bit of a cloud cover so earlier in the day the sun was just pounding down. But not so much right now. Ooh. I don't want to do it, but we're going to do these steps again so we can get a good look at those cruise ships. Heading back toward the front of the ship. 14 minutes in, guys. Five more minutes. Oh. You could definitely get your steps in on the cruise ship. Uh, these stairs are... I'm not looking forward to these stairs. Come on. I hope you guys are climbing stairs somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think this is like 500 stairs. Or 10, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I can feel the burn. Do you feel the burn? Ooh. Well, sometimes it's like medicine, man. You just want to run them. Get done with them. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a nice, calm water, super blue here in Grand Cayman. I don't know what we're going to be sailing back into tomorrow, but super cool, super calm now. All right, 15 minutes in, four more minutes, guys. Yeah, we're back where the basketball court is. <laughs> Grand Cayman is a British colony. They actually have a British governor and they are beholden to the Queen of England. And there's a lot of things they drive on the opposite side of the road from Americans, which is the first time you take a ride over here. If you're not used to that, that's pretty interesting, as I'm sure it would be in the opposite if you were from the UK and started driving on the opposite side of the road. Whew. This is what I call that cruise life, man. So nice. Look at these big cruise ships, open water, and uh, this whole ship is, is your home. Is your home for a week. 
All right, guys, 16 minutes and 30 seconds, three and a half more minutes to go. Let's see if we can take it back to the room. Uh, How you doing? Anybody else out of breath? Sorry to subject you to my heavy breathing, but I guess that's part of the tour. <laughs> the heavy breathing. I've definitely got a good sweat going on. I can't wait to uh, definitely be one of those nights where you... One of my favorite things to do on a cruise anyways is to stop and change clothes and take a shower before dinner, kind of wash the day off and start fresh for the evening. <sighs> Celebrity Equinox. We'll walk it back this way. Just switch it up a little bit. 17 and a half minutes, guys. We're almost there. Sights and sounds of a cruise ship. Alright guys, a minute and a half to 20 minutes. Have you walked the whole way? Do you got some left in you? If you need more exercise, put on another walk or start this one over. I'd say that the Equinox is probably a medium-sized cruise ship. I've been on a larger cruise ship and I don't think I could have walked around it once in 20 minutes, much less twice. A lot of people getting their sleep on, some good live music. minutes and 15 seconds 45 more seconds really push it I'm gonna take the stairs down start to cool it down now let's walk the pool walk the pool area one time crowded that way. Ten more seconds. Uh, my heart rate's at 119 beats per minute. I think that's good. Oh, nice and cool inside here. All right. So deck 12. Back down to deck 11. All right guys, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so the, the secret 20 minute word, 20 minute word is Jonathan. That's been the guy that's been helping us with our room this week. He's been a, doing a great job. Uh, I can barely, walk onto this hall without thinking about Jonathan and the good job he's doing. So leave that in the comments. You'll be in the super secret walkers club, carnival conquest, Jonathan. Ooh. And we're back 21 minutes, couple laps around the top. Let's see what we got. Uh, 168 calories burned 
Uh, 0.7 miles. We didn't quite get a mile in. All right, guys. Uh, look, don't forget to hydrate. I hope you had a good walk. That was 21 minutes around ooh, the hottest part of the Celebrity Equinox. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Cayman Islands. I hope you enjoyed seeing the cruise ships. And I hope you enjoyed that cruise life. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That way you get notified when you get the next narrated walk. And tell somebody that you know that might be walking for weight loss. So if they need a, a partner to walk along with or just a little bit of narration to kill the doldrums of a walk and see something new. This is Tony for walkingtolose.com. And uh, until the next time, I say keep your heart rate up and uh, keep on walking. And I'm going to have a little water. We'll see you on the next walk. Bye.